The rich will build temples for Shiva. What can I, a poor man, do? My legs are the pillars, my body the temple, my head the cupola. O Lord of Kudala Sangam, the standing form of mine is your temple. The richest temple you can build is the one within yourself. Think about that for a moment. We spend so much of our lives chasing external success, fame, wealth, recognition. We believe that bigger houses, fancier cars, more likes on social media, or grander gestures of devotion will somehow validate our worth. But at the end of the day, what are we left with? When the world is silent, and it's just you and your thoughts, what really matters? Basavana's words, the rich will build temples for Shiva, what can I, a poor man do, hits like a lightning bolt. It strips away all the noise, all the distractions, and forces us to confront the truth that we are our own temple. The pillars, the walls, the very sanctum of our lives, it's all built within, through how we live, how we love, how we act. And this realization, it's not easy, it's raw, it's uncomfortable, but it's also the key to real, lasting fulfillment. Let me tell you a story. There was a man I knew, deeply spiritual by all outward appearances. He built a massive temple in his village, a beautiful, ornate place of worship, gleaming with gold. Everyone revered him for his devotion, but behind those walls, his life was a different story. His relationships were broken, his actions towards others often cruel, and he was hollow inside. That grand temple, it was nothing more than a facade, because in his heart he had forgotten the most important truth. You can't build a temple outside if the one inside is in ruins. Vasavana's words don't let us hide. He tells us that the real temple is our body, mind, and spirit. When he says, my legs are the pillars, my body the temple, my head the cupola, he's asking us to see that every action we take is part of the sacred. Your legs, the things that carry you through life, are they moving you towards something meaningful? Your body, are you treating it with respect, with love, knowing it's the dwelling place of the divine? Your head, your mind, are your thoughts clean? Are they building up this temple or tearing it down? Now think about your own life for a second. How many of us spend our days consumed by what others think of us? We try to build temples in the form of careers, achievements, social status. But we neglect the one that matters most, our inner self. Let me ask you. When was the last time you truly reflected on your inner temple? Not what you've built for others to see, but what you're building for yourself, your character, your compassion, your integrity. These are the stones that make up your true temple. Maybe you're thinking, but I don't have time for that kind of introspection. We're all busy, life moves fast. But Vasavana's message is that if we don't build our inner temple, all the external things we chase won't mean a thing. You can have the world bowing at your feet, but if your heart is empty, what's the point? Vasavana challenges us to stop measuring ourselves by external standards. Stop thinking that if we just get that promotion, or that bigger house, or that public recognition, we'll finally feel complete. It's an illusion. Real fulfillment comes from building the temple inside, through kindness, through love, through living with integrity. I once met a woman who had lost everything. Her job, her home, her sense of purpose. She was devastated, but she told me something that stuck with me. When I had nothing left, I realized I still had everything. 
because for the first time, I started looking within. She began rebuilding her life, not from the outside, but from the inside. She strengthened her relationships, focused on kindness, and found peace in who she was, not what she had. Her story is a modern echo of Basavana's Vachana. When we build ourselves from within, we can weather any storm. So, where does that leave us? It leaves us with a choice. We can continue running on this treadmill, chasing external success, building temples for the world to admire, or we can stop. We can look within and start building the temple that really matters. We can start living lives of meaning, where every action, every thought, every moment is part of something sacred. The beauty of Basavana's Vakana is that it doesn't discriminate. You don't need to be rich or powerful to build this temple. It doesn't matter what your background is, where you come from, or what you have. You have everything you need within you. You just have to start building, one action, one thought, one day at a time. This Vachana asks us to reflect on what we're building in our lives. Are we creating something real, something lasting, or are we just putting up a facade for the world to see? It's a hard question, but an important one. Because at the end of the day, the temple you build inside yourself is the only one that truly matters. Ask yourself this. If today was the last day, would you be proud of the temple you've built within? Not the job, not the status, but the real temple, your heart, your mind, your actions. Vasavana's words are a wake-up call. They remind us that life is short, and what we build within ourselves is what we take with us. So, stop chasing the world's approval and start building the temple that truly matters. Because the richest temple you can build is the one within yourself.